Gonna be fucking around with this shower house. Uh, I'll show you in a sec, but right now, um, yeah, sorry I'm a little late. Uh, I was about to start the stream six minutes ago, and suddenly I had to go and take a poop. So, that's, that's why. <laughs> and then, of course, there was no toilet paper in the outhouse, so I had to do the poop walk over to where we keep the spare toilet paper, so. Um, yeah, you know, probably you didn't need to know that, but that's how my morning has been going. Um, hope your morning is going good. Um, <clears throat> I'm just rolling a spliff here real quick and uh, let folks wander into the room. I'm sitting on the platform here for my, my most recent project, and um, it's built entirely out of salvage. At least the shower house part. The only parts that are not salvaged is, or or donated, um, is the actual water pump. It's a little water pump, and um, we'll see if it works. But that that'll come later. I'm not I'm not anywhere near doing that at this point. I may do a shower house part two, but today um, what I'm going to be working on is. Um, I've got half of the deck here behind me treated with, uh, with some like waterproof deck sealer, like some outdoor shit. And um, I was working on it last night. I did a live stream with my friend Emily Mayer on Instagram last night, and it was on her Instagram. And her uh, Instagram name is Ejoy Mayer. Shit, I should have put a link in the description. E Joy M E H R, all one word. And you can see me shooting the shit with one of my uh, best friends yesterday while I was painting uh, the sealant on some of these boards. But I gotta finish the rest, and then I'm gonna screw down some of these boards while the other ones are drying, and I'll screw those in. And then, depending on how long that takes, I'll start um, augmenting like these. Uh, these posts here and getting them all to the right height because you can see the one behind me is pretty short and I need it to be like seven feet above the deck so that we can have a nice frame around the shower house so that you're not just standing with your dick in the wind as it were um but yeah we'll get to that in a little bit oh and also um so in the in the description of this video there is links to Slab City Library t-shirts and um, the Discord and cool stuff like that. But uh, also today I've added a couple of links to uh, one of my other best friends' um, comics on Webtoon and his Instagram profile. Today's his birthday and he's the guy that created the Slab City Library logo. So if you want... You, you should definitely show him some love some love because it's his birthday. He's a really fucking awesome dude and um, Yeah, subscribe to his webtoon. It's fucking awesome It's about a farmer that lives in hell and They get into all sorts of shenanigans. That's cute I could definitely relate to uh James's character heck. All right. Got a bunch of cool fucking people in here. Good morning everybody. Oh, Eddie Bait, you remember Emily from a live stream? Yeah, yeah. Emily has been in a number of live streams actually. <sighs> Rick Raquel Canella says Booze Fairies want to come visit. Hell yeah. Well, you're welcome anytime. I am closed uh, currently just until we figure out what's going on with the whole COVID lockdown shit. I mean, you know, obviously nobody fucking likes it, but in the meantime, I'm getting a lot of chores done. So that's great. Um, and a, a lot of my crew headed out for Christmas shenanigans. So it's nice and quiet. It's almost kind of like uh, summer around here except without the hellish deadly heat. Nice and quiet. I don't have to talk to anybody I don't want to. I don't know, I like it. I like, uh, I do like solitude 
on occasion for a good amount of time. But it's nice to have all you folks in here to keep me company while I'm working on this. Um, but of course, obviously, I'm going to pre-game here. I'm on, this is day six of a detox, so I won't be drinking any booze. Uh, it's also kind of early in the morning. Not not for me, but for most folks. Yes, and if you aren't aware of who I am and what I do, I am uh, a transmasculine, non-binary person, so, um, you know, my pronouns are they, them. In case you didn't know, now you do. Mm. I saw somebody got their comment deleted. Yes, if you refer to me in the incorrect pronouns, your comments will be deleted. Chris Cunningham was kind of trying to, trying to come out here to party for New Year's, but that's not a good idea. You shouldn't be going anywhere to party during this time. I know it sucks, but that's how it is. That's them breaks, kid. Mm. Ooh, I'm getting a good buzz off this. Holy shit. I don't usually, usually smoke tobacco this early in the morning, but, you know, can't have a beer, so. Oh, thanks, Raquel. I really appreciate that. Hell yeah. Oh, Feral Oracle is working on saving to get a shirt. Uh, Feral Oracle, I'm going to put up later today, I'm going to put up a month-long special on the t-shirts. I, I, I'll do it just for you. And the, the promo code will be Feral. Okay? Promo code is Feral. And that's not up yet, but uh, check in after the live stream, and I'll have, like, some percentage off. Like, I don't know. Let's do 20% off. That'll save you a couple bucks for, for the Christmas. Hey, how's it going, Paul? George True 2, what's up? And Will is rocking it. Got a rock star mod in, in the house. Hello from Sweden, Linsvia, thanks. Hey, I've got uh, some Swedish blood in me as well. As... Norwegian. Hell yeah, Feral. That's just for you. <sighs> hmm. All right. Let's see what we got here. So I got five and a half more boards that need to be treated. Oh, Rosie kicked down too. Thanks. Oh, thank you so much. <sighs> oh, hey, Douglas from Michigan. Hell yeah. Yeah, I miss the snow sometimes, but, uh, you know, after being uh, acclimated to this environment, um, it would take me probably all fall and winter season to acclimate to winter again. I don't know, though. Last time I was in Minnesota in the winter, it was actually pretty nice. It was like 15 degrees, and I wasn't struggling too hard. It was actually pretty chill. Yeah, Bike Punky, send me some snow, please. <laughs> I'll throw it over my head and pretend that I'm back in Minnesota. All right. So I've got, oh, let's see. These are all dry. These are the treated uh, deck boards. And these are the untreated. See the difference these are all shitty and this is all totally like i said this is all salvage um and i'll show you what i got going on here <clears throat> this is what i'm working on with the live stream all of these will be screwed down and ready to add to but i guess i'm gonna start Let's see. Seems like a good spot. This is not the best tripod. It's kind of an antique. Um, but it's what I got. It's what works. So I don't know if there will be a weird chemical reaction here because this is not the same stuff as the stuff I was using 
yesterday evening. Oh, how do I open this shit? Hmm. But, uh, I don't know. I think it'll be okay. Not a chemist or anything, so hopefully it doesn't explode in my face. But I think this is essentially the same shit that I was using yesterday. And this is one of those chores that I can actually, like, still talk to you guys and pay attention to the chat, because it's, uh, it's not too strenuous. Just painting the boards. Gotta get them all covered, and I'm gonna use a generous amount. And... Oh, I don't think I thanked the last person that sent money. Uh, let's see. Sapphire Tiger, thanks so much. Yeah, I know, uh, I know everybody's, whoops. I know everybody's, uh, probably struggling with the funds during this time. And, you know, I really do appreciate any kickdowns. But if, if you can't, like, don't feel bad. You know, you don't, this is donation-based entertainment, so... If you can't kick it down or you can't afford any of the sweet merch that I've got, like, it's, it's okay. I get it. I still try to f send funds to my traveling friends. Uh, oh, thanks, George True, too. Appreciate that. Um, you know, every little bit helps during this time or any time, really. Like, I've always been pretty poor. So, yeah, I get it. I'm just going to set this up here. Got to make sure to get all sides because this is going to be frequently wet. And I don't want my wood to rot. It's already like half rotted anyway. And the thing about building with salvage is you kind of have to, like, plan for obsolescence. Like, eventually your shit will degrade and, you know, you have to build accordingly so that when you do need to replace things that it's not really difficult to do. Just got to be aware of that. To get the ends, make sure it soaks all up in the wood. And I'm definitely gonna get my hands all full of oily sealant stuff, but it's not so bad. I could be wearing gloves, I suppose. All right, set that one to the side. And this one's pretty. This one's pretty trashy, but it'll have to do. Gotta work with what you got. Because you ain't got nothing else. Yeah, this one's pretty rugged. I'm just glad I found enough boards to finish this deck out. I wasn't sure if I would be able to, but... Um, yeah, I scoured the yard and was able to find just enough. And I don't know how the fuck I'm going to do the rest of it, but we'll figure that out when we get there. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hey, Califis is here. Kaleface. Welcome. <laughs> Bike Punky says, I look bored. <laughs> bored is as bored does. I'm just sitting here oiling my wood, you know. Typical Saturday? Saturday, right? I think so. Uh, Sir Ranger says we'll hook you up with more lumber in the springtime. Well, cool. I look forward to that in the springtime. <laughs> well, it's already looking a lot better. So last a lot longer with a with a nice coat of stain on it. Man, that sun is out in full force though. Even in the winter time the sun is uh is pretty aggressive. Make sure we fill all the crevices. Mm -hmm. Got love from Desert Hot Springs. Oh, I love Desert Hot Springs. One of my favorite... Um, Spas is there. The I think it's just called Desert Hot Spring Spa. And they have a deal, I think it's on Tuesdays, where you can get in for five bucks. Pretty sweet. They got the tubs, they got the pool. Oh, there's a bunch of shit on here. Pretty sweet. For five bucks, you too can feel like uh, fucking royalty. <laughs> How warm is it? I don't know. If it's under 100 degrees, I'm not really paying much attention. I'm just happy that I'm not boiling to death. Oh, hell yeah, Will. Yeah, recently Will came and visited, and you can see him in um, my last live stream. We got to uh, go out into the wasteland and shot a bunch of guns, and Will and his dog, who is the daughter of my Satan dog, um, they're in, you know, they came out and had a good time, and Will brought some really nice coffee, which I have already uh, completely annihilated. It was some really good stuff, though. Oh, thanks, Peyton. Appreciate that. Fuck yeah. Hmm. There's an extra little screw sticking up here. I'm gonna have to remove that when I start screwing the boards down so nobody gets their feet caught on it when they're trying to get in the shower. Is 
That's the last thing you want when you're trying to take a nice relaxing shower is tearing up your feet on protruding screws left over from whatever this was before. Alright, I'm going to take a look over it. Make sure I got everything. Oh, I almost forgot to send. spot there. This is why you always got to check your work before you move on to the next thing. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. Now this one is like painted over and possibly maybe treated already. Um, ideally, whoa, thanks Linsvia. That's a uh, hundred dollars Swedish. I don't know how much that translates to American, but thanks. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna paint over this with the stain anyway. I don't know. Like, ideally, I should sand all of this off, but um, I don't have a belt sander and. I don't really feel like doing it by hand right now, so I'm just going to um, hope that this works. Like I said, it's probably already been treated, but I'm going to just soak some of this oil in it anyway. Mm. Hell yeah, you guys are showing some mad love in there. Thanks so much. Really do appreciate you folks. You're the reason why I do all this, like, live streaming and stuff. You know, I could be totally content being completely <clears throat> anonymous out here and just kind of plugging along doing what I do anyway, but, like, you guys give me a lot of motivation and, um, you know, frankly, a lot of assistance in my work. So, yeah, thanks. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. I have the, um, the Kakariko Village song from... Legend of Zelda stuck in my head. That's kind of like my vibe today. <laughs> if you know, then you know. Eric says that song always made me sad as a kid because it was a doomed town. But it's like just so, you know, idyllic sounding. It's just like little, yeah, it's just like a little country tune almost. Ah. Got some splinters coming off of there into my brush, which is not desirable. That's another thing we don't want going into people's feet while they're trying to take a shower. I guess I'll do, uh, I'll have this side down. It's a little, it's 
a little raggedy. Now I'm gonna get this end before I flip it over. Oh, I already did. Okay, cool. This is a really heavy board. Yeah, I'd be willing to bet that it was already treated, so I'm not too worried about not taking the paint off. Mm, yeah, this side is definitely going on the underside. Alright, now let's do this side. Be a lot in this chunky bit, because that's where the moisture will creep in and degrade the board. side on this one we got oh we got four more I guess like I said I had five I think it, there was more like seven cheese on my chat. What the hell? Hmm. Trying to keep up with the chat, but I think maybe I oh. maybe got some crap on my screen so it's not reading right. There we go. Douglas asks, how do I feel? Um, I feel like I'm painting oil, staying on some salvage boards. How do you feel? This shit's gonna get torn the fuck up on these fucking boards, but that's all right. After I'm done staining all these boards, I'm gonna give them a minute to dry. And I might go on my bus and to a, do a few dabs. Then I'll come back and screw everything down. And then my deck will be done and ready for the next step. The next step, of course, being um, adding and fortifying the uh, frame around the shower house so that, you know, 
like I said, people can have privacy and stuff. And then after that, after I get the walls up and stuff, then I get to start assembling the more technical shit, which is the actual shower head. And I got to figure out what I'm going to do for a mount. And, um, and then I got to build a little housing for the shower unit so that it's not just like out in the in the outdoors like a little I don't know some type of thing that I can sit inside of so it stays dry when it rains etc doesn't get full of sand and um, I got to get a I've got a 50 gallon barrel that I'm gonna have next to it that we're gonna have to refill with the water pump when we get water which we need to get water in the house pretty bad we're like on our last few gallons so that'll be another chore so it's definitely a step-by-step -step process i might even do um other other segments of chores outdoors of the shower house i'll probably have to do like parts two and three because it's it really is a big project But once it's done, we'll be able to take showers right here at home without having to go to the hot spring or the canal. That will be nice because sometimes, I mean, I like going to the hot spring. It's great and it's nice and when it's hot, I really like going to the canal. Cause it's like you know it's right there and it's cool and refreshing but sometimes I just don't have the energy to do either of those things and I want to just you know take a shower here at home and sometimes I don't want to fill up the camp shower either you know like to, to keep yourself clean out here in the wasteland does take effort and work and of course there will still be work that goes into <clears throat> utilizing this shower house, like refilling the water periodically, but um, it, it'll it just be like, that, that'll be it, just refilling the water reservoir, and you can enjoy a few good showers, and it'll be hot showers if you so desire it, because there's a water heater that we got from uh, Flamingo Camp, actually. My friend Nova gave it to us for free. So that's pretty cool. They have a shower over there at Flamingo, too. It's not going to be, I mean, it's as serious as mine is going to be, but its it looks pretty nice. I checked it out, and it definitely inspired me to want to uh, have one here as well. Just because we're poor doesn't mean we can't have nice things. Just got to work harder for him. These boards are raggedy as hell. Oh, did I? Nope. Did I do this side already? Mm. 
Hard to say. Won't hurt to do it again. Uh, I think I did, actually. Alright, let's get this end. Cool. Boop. Next. Hey, how's it going, Rosie? Uh, uh. Oh, thanks, George C. Yeah, I uh, I have a lot of informative videos on Slab City. If this is your first time joining me for a live stream, you should definitely go and check out my homepage and uh, catch up on all the information that's on it about what I do here in Slab City and, um, and in my travels. And I do some interviews with other residents here. Spider-Man says, the Alaska trip was awesome. Yes, it was. And I'm really glad that I was able to document it. Because, you know, oh, it's a lot of fun going back and kind of revisiting those memories. Because when I was in the middle of it, it was like, I didn't even know if I was going to fucking make it, you know? It was, uh... It was definitely a hell of a trip. Oh, um, yeah, and I'm going to remind you, I mentioned it in the beginning of the video, but um, today is Bottomless Coffin's birthday, and I really wanted to get him some more subscribers on his Webtoon page and Instagram. He is the person that made the Slab City Library logo, um, and you can get t-shirts with it on there in the link description, or in the description links where also there are links to his webtoon and Instagram. Um, so check those out. Hit the like and subscribe on my channel for more content. Ring the bell if you're so inclined so you don't miss next time I go live because, uh, you know, it's infrequent, but I go on when I can. And I'm happy to be here with you guys. With you folks, rather. I mean, I know not everybody resonates with the terminology. done with the oil staining that's the part that like takes the longest but isn't like especially satisfying because like 
you know, once you screw the boards in, then you get to see your progress. And it's like, you know, it's really satisfying. It's like, yeah, there it is. Now it's in. And there's the next one. Now it's in. And, you know, but like waiting for the oil stain to dry, you know, it's like waiting for paint to dry. It's just, it takes time and it's, you know, it's not particularly satisfying, but it needs to be done. So if you're going to do a job, you can do it right. Otherwise, you're going to be redoing it again in a few months. And I don't like doing the same chore more than once. Oops. Excuse me. Good. Oh, I'm running out of shit to sit on. This is kind of a nice looking board. Yeah. Yeah, I got a few nice ones. I picked some up at a junkyard sale the other day. That's where some of the cleaner boards that I have came from. Got lucky because it's really hard to get lumber around here during the apocalypse. Like, I've been trying to get decent lumber build this shit and um just nowhere had what I needed I, I wanted to buy it because I just wanted to get this shit done and um we did end up buying a couple of a uh, few beams but I ended up using them for Robert's new house to help it be supported we dragged over um it's like one of those truck bed trailers that was dumped here and was apparently left for the library. That's what the guy said, but um, he dropped it off on the other side of the road on some incredibly dangerous uh, stands. And it was a real... So I ended up having to... Um, yeah, I ended up having to use those boards that were purchased for the shower house to, um, you know, at that point to support the front end of the trailer. We had to build like a whole frame and stuff. So, so now, yeah, so now the whole shower house is entirely comprised of salvage, which is cool to be able to say, I suppose. I was trying to cut corners, but the universe would not allow me. This is something. Check this out. There's a bunch of fucking screws all up in the bottom of this one. And I'm not going to take the time to pull those out. They got bent down and they're all fucked. I'm just going to have this <laughs> side down. Because fuck all that. Just make sure I get plenty of oil around them. A 
Oh yeah. Starting to look proper. All this stained wood. It's gonna be real satisfying to screw everything down. And that's probably all I'll have time for today. I've got all the rest of the, like, the deck framing already treated, so I don't have to do any of that. It's just these, these deck boards here that, that needed to get finished. I cut all these yesterday after gathering them. It took a lot longer than, like, you know, it's not like going to a lumber yard and selecting the exact things that you need and paying for it and walking out and you know, being done with it, like, uh, scavenging and salvaging the shit that you need is like its whole own project. Hmm. Yeah, I did. And I like to make sure that I get a lot of oil in these cracks that are forming. Because, like I said, they'll just get worse. The, the water will seep right into it and rot it out from the inside and we definitely don't want that because we want these to last for a while. Mm. All right, last one. Now, these aren't gonna be, half of these, the ones that I've just painted, are not gonna be dry when I fucking attach them down to the frame, but that's not really such a big deal. They'll dry while they're, while they're attached and uh, I think the setting time is like 12, 12 hours or something like that. But I won't have to paint over them again. This is like a one coat and done kind of treatment. And then I'm going to have to, um, I think it said like every two years, maybe every year you got to repaint it. Probably out here, since it's so dry, I'll have to do it every year. Look at how much nicer this looks like being treated compared to not. It's just like, it's like whole new wood. This board looks like it was treated at one point as well. And these, um, these posts here, these are railroad ties and I know those are treated. They'll last a long time. It wouldn't hurt, I guess, to paint over them later, but I'm not going to do that right now.
Mm. Yes. Looks so nice. Very satisfying. Hmm. Fuck yeah, I see there's uh, about 93 of you in there and 70 likes. If you want to show some love, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, uh, perhaps consider subscribing. And if you don't like it later, you can unsubscribe too. But, uh, you know, it, it helps. Just a little bit helps, especially during these times. Um, I've had the library closed for most of a, a fair portion of this last year. And, you know, besides the YouTube thing, like which isn't much of a money maker. The library is the way that I make my way. So if you would like to, um, you can also donate through PayPal, which is also a link in the description. I'm gonna pester you again to subscribe to Bottomless Coffin on Webtoon and Instagram because he's awesome and his comics are great and it's his birthday today. So, I don't I don't know if you're watching James, but if you are, happy birthday. And I'll contact you later or something, give you a call or whatever if you're if you got the space for it. And um I said this earlier, but I did a live stream on Instagram on Emily Mayer's uh Instagram. So, if you want to see that, uh we're just kind of shooting the shit, but Emily Mayer is one of my oldest friends. We lived together uh, for about a year in Minneapolis, no, St. Paul, and um, she's uh, she's also a comic book artist and does like almost daily comics on her Instagram, which is E Joy Mayer, no spaces, and Mayer is spelled M E H R. I'm probably going to be doing more live streams on Instagram as well. So if you haven't added me on Instagram, it's just my name, no spaces, um, just Cornelius Van Gogh, just like on YouTube, except without the space. So check it out. And I've, I've been liking doing the Instagram. Uh, actually, yesterday was my first Instagram live stream, but I really enjoyed it because it was kind of like um, before I got much of a following on YouTube where it was just like a couple of people in chat and you know that's that's kind of fun it's a it's a little bit more intimate so keep an eye on that if you're into that uh eric o'brien finally ordered a slab city library shirt fuck yeah very cool All right, this is the end of the last one. Like the literal end, I'm painting the end of this. Ooh, just in time too, because my brush is falling apart. All right, and that's a wrap. So I'm just going to let these chill here in the sun, put my lid back on my shit. And I think it's safe to say that this brush is donezo. Oops. So I'm going to use it to clean out this lid here because this lid got full of shit. There we go. Cool. This down. And I don't think I'll have to be using this anymore, except for maybe, I guess, for the frame later. But I'm gonna go wash my hands in the kitchen. And then we'll do a little smoke break. And then I'm gonna screw everything down.
That will be nice. Gotta be careful not to rub this oil in my eyeballs. All right. Hmm. I'm gonna grab a carbonated liquor. That sounds quite refreshing right now. Hmm. Oh, this should be open so that this is my dog's house, but the door needs to be open so she can get at her water. It's a little puppy jacket. I gotta repair it. Where'd I put my drink? There you go. Damn it. There's the puppy. Hello, Satan. Hello, Satan. Aren't you so special? What a special dog. Yes, you are. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to bring my shit over here. Mm-hmm. Smoky break. It's important to take many smoke breaks during during uh your your projects so that you can stay limber and <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um mm, I'm gonna pick my nose. Ugh. Got like a what is it? Uh, um sawdust boogers from sawing those boards earlier. Ugh. Hey, Pop, are you trying to get through? Here, go this way. Sorry, I didn't mean to block your way. Oh, boy. Time to get stoned. Hello from Kentucky. Hi, how's it going, Trey Ryan Wanders? Oh, <laughs> I just realized that I left um, some dried pineapple chunks in my bed. I was snacking on them while I was watching YouTube videos last night. <laughs> I don't usually keep pineapple in my bed. Um, FYI. <laughs> Ooh, I try to stay tidy. There's a lot of excess. I need to clean this out really bad. Yeah, I really need to clean this out. 
Oh, oh, instant, instant stone. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm just trying to clean some of this stale shit out of there. It's like kind of fucking up my hips. But you know what I always say, you work with what you got. Look at all that, that's just stale smoke in there. That's a little bit annoying. Alright, whatever. We'll let it rock. Do it live. Fuck it. <coughs> <coughs> says love watching you live thank you no thank you thank you for joining me good morning simply wicked <coughs> now if you folks like hanging out in the live chat I know I've mentioned it a couple times already but you should definitely check out the discord and you know we all say good morning to each other pretty much every morning it's nice very nice Satan, what are you doing? Leave me in a dog. Come here. Give me puppy hugs. Come here. Puppy hugs. Oh. Yes, I love you. You're the good dog. Yes. <laughs> Satan is best dog, in case you didn't know. Yes. The best. The best. All right, let's go screw some boards down. Too bad you don't know how to swing a hammer, dog, huh? You don't know how to use a tape measure. No, you don't. You don't know how to saw a board. Mm-hmm. Aw, bike punky misses Satan. Oh, I'll give her some extra scratchies for you. And go play ball after this. We'll go play ball. I don't want to tease you though I'm not gonna say that too much get off me fly yes we will yes yes mm. hi <laughs> all right good girl you want to come out and lay in the sun while I do all the work yeah that sounds fun huh <coughs> all right come on pup Where are you going? We're going this way, dude. Come on. Oh, you want to get water? Go drink water. Where's my... Oh, there's my drill. I'm just going to set this up over here so you guys can see what's going on. And I guess I'll just yell at you from over there. Let's put you folks over here. Oops. Dang it. There we go. Okay, let's put it right here. 
kind of like to alternate like pretty and gnarly boards so it looks kind of more artsy I guess and less like scrap and like I'm just living in abject poverty you know it's a uh, it's hashtag upcycling Upcycle. I'm not poor, I'm just recycling. Alright. No, I would be working with the same materials even if I was wealthy though. Oh, this one doesn't quite fit in there. This one's a little big. There we go. Beautiful. doesn't quite fit in there. Let's see. There we go. Now it does. Let's do another pretty one here. Both sides of this are really fucking gnarly, but that's okay. We'll just let it rock. And some of these boards are twisted too, but um, if I get them locked down tight enough, then that won't really be an issue. I'm gonna do oh shit. so I have a um, a trench underneath this part that goes down this little slope into a pit and that's where all the water is gonna go and it's gonna water these trees over here <coughs> and that's what I just stepped into get back on there fucker oh man come on There we go. Get that nice and tight. two screws in the end of each of these boards. These are three inch uh, construction screws, which I like to use because they're strong.
Oh, I guess I gotta get some in the middle too, because there's a middle beam here as well. See how the boards are like settling in as I screw them down. <coughs> Ooh, those hits fucking got me, dude. Too. This board's kind of raggedy. I hope it doesn't split. One thing that I do um, to try and help it not split, I guess, is just like go at a certain angle. Yeah, it's splitting already though. Mmm. This board's pretty shitty too. That slide is shit. That side is shittier. Okay. Hmm. Hey Satan, what are you doing? Are you being a dog again? Hi. I don't want to pet you, I got oil all over my hands. split either way. I'm gonna secure this one in here so that at least it's it'll hold it in. <clears throat> Ugh. 
the fucking guard is shit. I need to get a new one. All right, let's try this shitty one again. Maybe if I take it at an angle here. No, it's definitely going to crack no matter what I do. Get out of here. <clears throat> I hate that. Uh, I'm just gonna fucking not do that. And we'll move on. Fuck off, fly. one's gonna crack on this side too pretty bad <coughs> but we gotta secure it somehow come on come on there we go uh, what's crack a lacking am i right shit fuck this this board sucks Dude, come on. Fuck you. Oh, I hate you. Oh, you piece of shit. God, what a piece of shit. All right. So crap. I'm gonna have to reinforce some of this shit later. Cause um the two by six I have on the edge here is also pretty rotted. I'm gonna get another little shorter piece of two by six and kind of patch it in on this side so it's a little safer. I mean it'll hold for now, but I want it to hold for a long time. in board 2x6 right here. So I'm going to bring this in a little bit and I hope it bites. Oh! 
best we can do here. <clears throat> Almost done. This one's gonna crack. Well, it's just gonna crack. But if I spread these out, then it'll be okay. And the other boards will hold it together. Damn it. Okay. Well, it sunk. What are you doing, pup? Huh? Nice. Okay, I gotta get some more screws. Hey, dingus. Okay, what do we got? Hmm. In moments like this, I wish I were there to help. Um, I don't want your help. Sorry, bud. This is my shower house. <coughs> Thumbs up. Fuck yeah. Where is the power coming from? The sun? Adoyu. You can watch me um, introduce my solar system on another one of my videos. I can't remember what it's called. It's called something like uh, um, tour of my solar system and how I make ice or something like that. Erin wants to know if she can help by bringing drinks. Yeah, hell yeah. Except not right now because I'm detoxing. I'm on like day six. <coughs> Taking like supplements and shit, you know. Yeah, buddy. You know, one of my biggest pet peeves about doing projects around here is when fucking dudes try to take over and, like, take credit for the work that I've already been doing. You know, they fucking turn a couple screws and all of a sudden it's their project. And it's like, no, bitch, there was already a structure here and you turned the screws that I told you to turn. <clears throat> Did I make it in there? Yeah, cool. Hmm. Detox approved drinks. Yeah, I've been drinking a lot of kombucha and ooh, I actually have a Let me go get it. I sh I could use it cuz I've got like I'm coughing a lot from the dabs. I should probably use my inhaler, honestly. <laughs> shit like this, you know, good, good, wholesome beverages. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> good shit. Good shit. Oh, 
yeah, folks, thanks for the, um, thanks for the words of encouragement. <laughs> Not used to people give me words of encouragement while I'm working. <clears throat> Satan, shut up. What are you growling at? You don't even know what you're fucking talking about. Quiet. Get out of my way. Dude, you're putting your face in oily boards. Fuck off, please. You're fine. Let's see. That's going to be too severe of an angle. Hmm. Yeah, to all the guys out there with advice on uh, how I can be doing shit better, um, why don't you go and start your own YouTube channel where you build your own library out of scrap and, uh, you know, show me how it's done. Satan, shut up. People are allowed to drive on the road. in this one because it's so wide. I'm not going to do three on the other side though because it's splitting real bad. Just got a few more to go. <laughs> what, you quoting my song in there? Conspiracy theorist? How dare you? <laughs> Sunk. Yeah, that's what I like. <laughs> that's another reason why it's good to alternate shitty and good boards too, because then it's not like one side of the deck is total crap and the other is like really nice. You know, they kind of reinforce each other. Oh no! That was not a good angle. Good one. Hey, George, see, I didn't ask for your fucking professional advice. Why don't you quit whining and getting your fucking little testes in a twist, eh? <coughs> if you don't like it, you can get fuck right off. This is my fucking channel, bitch. Uh, I think somebody needs a needs a way ambulance called for them. Oh, and fuck you, Moses, uh, for misgendering me. Yeah, thanks, Will or Aaron. Aaron, you got it. Oh boy. You know, I notice that I I never have to talk more gently than I do when I'm working with a bunch of dudes on a construction project. They get their twi titties all twisted up because I, like, you know, I'm doing my thing and then they all want to, like, get butt hurt when I tell them that they're doing something wrong, even on my project, which they are doing it wrong. And, you know, if, if I had a swinging cock and I said the same thing, they'd be like, yes, sir, okay, sir, but since I don't, they're like, oh, you're so naggy, why are you so mean? And it's like, mmm, you're just a sensitive little bitch. 
<clears throat> Sorry. Oh. All right, I'm going to get on this side here. Actually, this one's going to be crunchy. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm going to crunch. But that's, you know, that's what we got. It's like a, <clears throat> a male ego. You gotta proceed with such caution and care so as not to crack them under the weight of your correctness. Um, where's my other screws? There we go. This is an allegory of a fragile male ego. Check this out. I'm gonna be so gentle and it's just gonna crack. Oh, that one held. See, there is hope for you guys. That one, that one's okay. That'll hold. <clears throat> My nose is so runny. My allergies are just like fucking crazy right now, and they have been for like weeks. It's goddamn infuriating. Yeah, I'm gonna change your guys' angle so you don't get bored with the same angle. <clears throat> How's about that? All right. We're gonna put user in timeout because he won't stop crying all over the damn chat room. Typical fragile male ego. Gotta make everything about him. What a damn shame. Now, let this be a lesson to you other gentlemen at home. Kings, bros, speaking to you. Don't be a little bitch. Take criticism. And don't make it about you. Not everything is about you. Sometimes you gotta leave space for non-cis white males to, uh, you know, just exist. You don't always have to have a say in things. All right, King? Word. <laughs> you gotta realize that, like, people of color and non-males have to leave space for cis dudes to fucking talk all the time. They're always over-talked by them, and they just kind of, you know, that's why... Whoops, shit, I just unplugged myself. That's why, uh, you know, it's like a trope that women talk a lot or something, but that's not true. I don't know anybody that talks more than fucking cis white males to each other, and they speak with such authority on things that they shouldn't be. Because they're not really used to having to share space with other people. They think they're the most important ones in the room. But they don't even think about it that hard, you know? <laughs> Shit, that one cracked. Alright. That'll hold. I'm probably gonna have to dump some more of the sealant down this crack, though. That kind of sucks. They talk loud, too. Yeah, they just have never not been like heated in a room like <clears throat> eh. they just kind of take for granted that everybody wants to hear what they have to say you know 
Whereas most other people kind of just, like, if you're with your own people or something, then you can talk and not worry about somebody shutting you down. Some guys just never got shut down and it shows. It's like, it's like a, a dog that's never been swagged out. You ever, you ever meet one of those, like a dog that's just like, you can tell that their owner has never disciplined them in their whole life, and it like, you really can tell. And then they try to like, snap your food out of your hand, and you just kind of tap them on the nose, and they just look at you like their world is ending. Like, what? Huh? Off. These flies are just fucking relentless right now. <clears throat> yep, sealant down the crack. Yep, all the way down that crack. Got like, uh, I'm probably not gonna get more than one screw in this shit, but we'll try. Get off me, fucking fly! <laughs> Swear to god, the flies know. They're like, wait for the moment when you're about to do something and then they land on you. Beautiful. <clears throat> now I'm going to get my butt off these oily boards. I'm going to set this down here for now. And let's take a look. So, I didn't get them screwed down in the middle there. Uh, I guess I'll do that later. Or maybe not, I don't know. Looks cool though, huh? With the alternating colors. And uh, like I said, over here <clears throat> is the trench where the water's gonna go down and it'll flow down into here and into this basin and water these trees. And I'll probably dig that out a little bit more, but you know, it'll work for now. So yeah. Hey, how's it going, rest dog? Yeah, you caught me live, but you're a little late. I'm about to fuck off in a second here. Whew. Thanks, Jeff Rowe. Thanks, Sally S. Eric. Thanks, Conspiracy Theorists. Wow, so much support. Fuck yeah, guys. Thank you so much. I'm gonna hit my inhaler, because that fucking last... It's so important to keep your dab rigs clean. It's like, really, ugh. Oh shit, and I forgot all about my fucking carbonated water. <sighs> Much better. Mm. Oh boy. Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> if, uh, if you like my live streams, I'll be doing some more because I really don't have a whole lot going on with my life right now because I'm closed. There's statewide lockdowns and I'm also understaffed as fuck because all my crew headed out for like Christmas stuff, um, which is cool. And uh, one of them headed out for a really cool job and that's great for them. But in the meantime, I don't want dealing with a bunch of fucking COVID tourists right now. Not happening. 
I'm just gonna kind of ride it out, feel it out. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing more live streams, especially since this is pretty much the only way that I can make money right now. So if you want to show me some love, you can hit the donation button. There's also the PayPal link in the description. And t-shirts, you can buy a t-shirt if you want to get something for your money. And I'm about to put up a promo code for 20% off on the t-shirts. The promo code is going to be FERAL. So, um, I haven't done that yet, but if you check back and, you know, after the live stream, I'll have that done up for you. And that'll be a month-long special. So that people have time to save up and, you know, get their shirt. Yeah. Hmm. And, uh... Shit, I guess, well, I got more chores I gotta do today, so, yeah, this is chill, Aaron, it's, uh, yeah, 20% off, so I'll do that right after I'm done here. <sighs> well, thanks all of you for joining me for my morning chores. And I will be sure to include you next time when I do some more work on the shower house so that you can kind of join me in the progress. And for now, I'm going to off. So, see you later.